cough. We all know by now that cough, fever and loss of smell are the key symptoms of COVID-19. But do you know that coronavirus patients can experience a wide range of symptoms? Researchers from King's College London have now identified six types of COVID-19. Each distinguished by a particular cluster of symptoms. It also highlights the severity of disease and helps doctor predict if a patient needs hospitalization and breathing support much earlier. As per King's College London, these findings have important implications for care and monitoring of people who are most vulnerable to severe COVID-19. First cluster includes flu-like with no fever and has headache, loss of smell, muscle pains, cough, sore throat, chest pain and no fever as its symptoms. Cluster 2 has flu-like with fever, with headache, loss of smell, cough, sore throat, hoarseness, fever and loss of appetite. Gastrointestinal includes headache, loss of smell, loss of appetite, diarrhea, sore throat, chest pain and no cough. Severe level of fatigue includes headache, loss of smell, cough, fever, hoarseness, chest pain and fatigue. Severe level 2 confusion has headache, loss of smell, loss of appetite, cough, fever, hoarseness, sore throat, chest pain, fatigue, confusion and muscle pain. While severe level 3 includes abdominal and respiratory with headache, loss of smell, loss of appetite, cough, fever, hoarseness, sore throat, chest pain, fatigue, confusion, muscle pain, shortness of breath, diarrhea and abdominal pain. Only 1.5% of people with cluster 1, 4.4% of people with cluster 2 and 3.3% of people with cluster 3 COVID-19 required breathing support as compared to 8.6%, 9.9% and 19.8% for clusters 4, 5 and 6 respectively. They are more likely to be admitted to hospitals for additional oxygen support. The expert also added, and I quote, if you can predict who these people are at day 5, you have time to give them support and early interventions such as monitoring blood oxygen and sugar levels and ensuring they are properly hydrated. Simple care that could be given at home, preventing hospitalization and saving lives. The study was conducted by King's College London. The research team used a machine learning algorithm to analyze data obtained from 1,600 users in the UK and US with confirmed COVID-19 who had logged their COVID-19 using system tracking app in March and April. It also analyzed if particular symptoms appeared together and how this was related to the progression of the disease. The study is yet to be peer-reviewed.